I hate being out so close to dark. It's harder to see them coming. We're just gonna get that propane and then come right back. I, I saw it in that pickup truck parked down the road a little, in front of the Wallace's house. I just wish there was an easier way to get it and that we didn't have to risk life and limb every damn day for food and water and gas for the stove. Oh, am I babbling? I babble when I'm scared. Nothing's easy anymore, Kate. But that doesn't mean we don't have to try. I know. It's just hard to get used to. That's all. We get over there. Yeah, I know. We get the hell back home. If we're lucky, we won't see a single one of those things. <sighs> right. Fingers crossed. <sighs> yeah. There it is. Oh. All right. Um. Let's take it and go. Yeah. Let's not stay in here for longer than we need to. <clears throat> oh. You've got to be fucking kidding me. God damn it. Hey. Kate. Of course it's empty. Why would we get that lucky? I mean, it's not like we needed it or anything. Easy, Kate. Maybe there's something else we can use in there. Yeah, okay, maybe. But we came out here for that tank. I just thought... I know. This one time, we deserve to catch a fucking break. Oh. Well. Get it off of me, get it off of me. Get it. Uh. Okay, now! Give it to me! Good. I'm sorry. I was just so fucking scared. You froze. It's okay. I wanted to kill it. I really did, but I know him. That was one of Gabe's friends. True. He was so sweet. Oh. He had a smile on his face. Gabe worshipped him. That's not true anymore. I know it, it still looks like him, but the kid you knew, he's gone. All that's left is this thing. I don't even know what to call them. If they're not mm. people. If they're just the dead. Uh muertos. demons. Oh, muertos? Alright, that sounds I good. We were die. I thought I... Gabe and Mariana were just gonna wake up and we would just be gone. When it was on you? Oh my god. Yeah, I know, I know. We should uh really get back inside yeah okay so um <clears throat> bye bye drew I know we all wanted to stay here in the house and wait for David to come back. But it's been three months since he drove away with your mom. What are you saying? We're not safe here. Not anymore. You and I uh. could have been killed out there. For an empty can. There's got to be a safer place out there. Somewhere not so isolated. But Kate, I mean, this is your home. You're getting sentimental now? We stay. I... Nobody's going to get hurt. Or worse. You really think the kids are going to be happy with this plan? The kids will understand. A and if they don't, we'll just make them see it our way. We have to go. How come? Oh. What if I don't want to leave? Um. Cape. We're safe inside the house. A and I bet we can find more food in the neighborhood if we just look harder. We need to find somewhere with more people around. People who are still alive. People who don't mind sharing their supplies. We have our own supplies. 
Not enough. We're running out. Not anymore. All right. Dad. Well. <sighs> What's he gonna think if he shows up and we we just ditched him? We might never find him again. Your dad would want us to do this game. He'd want us to survive. We've been surviving. Here. At home. Barely. I'm sorry, Gabe. But... Javi's right. Uh, how about... You guys go and I stay here. You're a kid. That's not how it works. I can take care of myself. If I need any help, I'll just... Ask my friends. Gabe? Honey? What's, what's wrong with her? Why is she acting so weird? Uncle Javi? She's sad. Because when we were out, we saw your friend, Drew. But it wasn't exactly him anymore. You mean, he, he was one of them? We're so sorry, Gabe. Yeah. So you understand why, don't you? Why we have to leave? If that happened to you, I couldn't bear it. When do we have to go? Tomorrow, as soon as it's daylight. I want to leave him a note. I'll help you get started. Okay, that's a good idea. Who are we going to tell him? I want to say something good. Um... Something that won't make him sad. Tell him we'll find him. Somehow. We're all gonna see each other again. Yeah. No matter what. I like that. Alright, good. Write it right now, so we don't forget. Of course. Okay. Yep. Thank you. Really. Dad? Javi? Is that really you? D David. <laughs> I always hoped I'd find you. Never really thought it'd happen. Not after all this time. I can't fucking believe this. It's... I mean, it's you. Couldn't have said it better myself. Yeah. I knew you were still alive. I knew it! Hey, weapons down! This is my family! You gotta let us in. Kate doesn't have much longer. Jesus. Kate! David? I'm here, honey. I'm right here. What the hell happened? She's been shot. We got the bullet out, but she's still bleeding. We need your doctor. Now, David. What the fuck is she on the ground for? She's barely got a pulse. 
She's cold as fucking ice. How are you just gonna leave her here like this? We were trying to prove that we could be trusted. That we'd follow orders. Anything to get her to your hospital. You that afraid of an injured woman, Max? It wasn't her. It was the rest of them. Yeah. She's coming inside. But she hasn't been checked. Fuck that. This is my wife. I... I didn't know. Honest. She's going to the hospital. Now. Our doctor's gonna help you, honey. I'm gonna make sure of it. Wait, I I'm going with you. Get. Sorry, but the rest of you have to go straight to quarantine. What for? Excuse me? All newcomers get checked for bites, and they all have to answer a couple of questions. Our doctor what? will clear the two of them, but the rest of you have to come with me to the quarantine holding area. It's how we keep it safe for everyone. Don't you get it? I'm David's brother. I'm going to the hospital with them. We have procedures here. Procedures that have to be followed. Uh, Even if you are related to David. Ah, this is bullshit. Come on. The sooner you come along, the sooner we can get you cleared. I'll, I'll be there as soon as I can. Uh, Let's go. Eleanor. When we found the car without you in it, I didn't know what to think. The engine up and died. I came here looking for help, and this happened. I've been so worried about Kate. I told them she needed a doctor. They promised me someone would look into it. Please, tell me they found her. Well, luckily we found her before she got any worse. They just took her to the hospital. I can't believe no one went to look for her. I'm sorry, Javi. Really, but I didn't have any reason not to believe them. Well, doesn't what? matter now, I guess. The people here in Richmond, they're new frontier. Oh my god. Oh, ho, ho, you ain't even heard the worst part yet. One of them's his brother. Hey. Well, I didn't even know you had a brother, Javi. Maybe it's a good thing. We've got somebody on the inside. Somebody who can vouch for us. Vouch for you, maybe. Javi could be right. At one word from David, and the others came running to take Kate to the hospital. Whoever this guy is, he can't be all bad, right? I mean, well... he helped Kate instead of hauling her down here. Of course he brought her inside. I mean... She's his damn wife. Yeah. You're kidding. Kate is married to your brother? The way you two acted around each other. I just didn't think she had a husband out there, is all. The only reason I know Kate is because she married David. I was the best man at their wedding. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Family drama aside. Hope you know I'm not about to make nice with New Frontier. I know you didn't have much stake in Prescott, Javi, but they burned that place to the ground for no fucking reason. After everything you folks told me, I'm guessing I'm not gonna find my people alive. Hell, Javi. They killed your niece! Shot Kate! For all we know, your brother could have been behind it. No. If it wasn't his idea in the first place, if he knew about it and didn't stop it, that shit can't stand. No, I don't think so. No fucking way, David was a part of that. He couldn't be. That's not the kind of man he is. Maybe he wasn't the last time you saw him, but you said yourself, it's been a while. What was he like when you knew? You guys get along. Uh. I'm happy enough to see you up there. At least at first. Well... Things between me and him were complicated. Some days we'd be at each other's throats. Other days we could shoot the shit for hours and still find stuff to talk about. So he's a moody son of a bitch, huh? Yeah. If your brother Ex -military. knew about what happened to Prescott, he's got to answer for it. They all do. I owe that to Conrad. I'm not just going to let things slide. 
I've never really been an eye for eye kind of man. But people died. We need to even out the scales. As soon as I get a moment alone with David, I'll get to the bottom of this. He can tell me what we're up against. He has to. Family's gotta be good for something, right? Hey. Uh, David. Hey. Hey. I would have been here sooner, but I had to take care of something. Right. So come on already. Kate's asking for you. Oh. Maybe you think it's okay to keep a lady waiting. Thought I taught you better than that. Lead the way. Gladly. <clears throat> Looks like the rules don't apply to everyone, huh? That's <laughs> right. Some people get out of here early. Others stay a long fucking time. Trip. Just drop it, okay? Smart cookie, this one. Javi. Just... Go. All right. I'll be back as soon as I can. You know that. Thanks. Yeah. Don't worry about it. <clears throat> Adios. Family must be good for something. Nice. Huh? What? We have a process. Our own way of doing things. Your guys better not have a problem with that. Things don't go well for troublemakers here. I hope that's clear. All right. No problem. You won't have to worry about them. Didn't sound that way. They just need time to get used to things. I hope you're right. Come on. Yeah. Uh, <sighs> Where are we going? Kate asked for you. I thought you'd want to check on her. Yeah, I I did. Listen, Javi, Gabe. He told me some pretty messed up things. Things like, I need your help wrapping my head around. Like what? He shouldn't have done that. I wanted to tell you myself. Bad news is bad news. Who cares who delivers it? Uh, he told me you lost Mariana. Just a few days ago. Oh. I didn't lose her. I... I'm sorry, David. She's... She's gone. Your, your people did that. They killed her. Alright? It wasn't my fault. It's strange grieving for the same person twice. Like losing something you didn't know you had. What was she like, Javi? She was so little when we got separated. Who did my little girl become? Mariana saw things that the other people didn't. She, uh... She told me she wanted to write down her memories to keep them alive after she was gone. Sounds like her. Always was a dreamer. Yeah. Ow. How did she die? Tell me how it happened. Please, I need to know. She was just standing there, minding her own business. She just found her lost headphones in the dirt. She was smiling. And then someone put a bullet in her head. What kind of animal would just open fire on her like that? An animal with well... a mark? My people aren't in the habit of killing little girls. David well, they did. There. They you did, all right? Too. Yeah. Ask your buddy at the gate if you don't believe me. Max was a part of this? That's right. Some other bald fucker with a beard. Yeah. I need details. What the hell went down out there? I need to know exactly what happened. Everything you remember. Well, it all started... Bastards knocked me out and threw me in their truck. I got away near this town, Prescott. The same assholes attacked us there. Their leader flooded it with walkers and, and tear gas. Leader? 
crazy bald guy with a beard. Yeah. Badger, what the fuck have you done now? I'm gonna handle that stupid son of a bitch, okay? Do me a favor, keep this to yourself. The politics here, they can get messy. I thought you were the boss. There's four of us that run, Richmond. You need to impress the other three. Or you'll be back on the road by morning. Uh, the other three, huh? Things up. You and your friends could have a very short stay. I can be impressive when I try. I'll follow your lead. Just don't get cute. I run security here. But it's not like my word is law. This shit with Badger doesn't make things any easier. Hmm. Well... Who's the fresh meat? Ava. This is my brother, Javi. The baseball brother? Uh... No shit. What are the chances of you turning up on the doorstep? Welcome to civilization. Or at least the closest thing to it these days. My brother talked about me. All the time at the start. All good, I hope. I think you know the answer to that. What? Ava's my right hand. If there's anyone you can trust in Richmond, it's her. Okay. Cool. Um. Say it. The woman. The fucking soldier. Yeah? She's the first person I met up with after you and me got separated. I never would have made it without her. Hmm. Gabe said you went back to the house at the start. I'm sorry I never found you. We waited for you for three months. Eventually the house was overrun and we had to move. Why didn't you come back? Mama and I got routed out of the city on the way to the hospital. It wasn't long before she... Poor Mama. Yeah. I couldn't get back uh, into Baltimore, so I hooked up with my old unit. We thought we could build a safe zone outside D.C. After what happened to Mama and everyone else, I thought you were all dead. But you were taking care of them, weren't you? Somehow you found a way. I'm not gonna lie. I never thought you had it in you. We took care of each other. And we all had each other's backs. You've changed, brother. Uh, took the end of the world, but you finally grew up. Yeah, very funny, brother. This is where they're treating Kate. Don't get comfortable. We're not staying long. Uh, all right. The Taurine Medical. Hey. Hey, kid. Got everything you need. Uh, yeah. This place is like a resort. Check it out, Javi. Noodles in a cup. We need to get you some real food. That's great. That turn you into a soldier. <laughs> Javi, I'm glad you're okay. Hey. <laughs> get off me. I was gonna say the same about you. Damn, it's good to have you back. Look at this family. Look at my wife. Isn't she the most beautiful woman alive? Come on. Yeah. Um. With the lights off, you could mistake me for a walker. A damn fine walker. Gross. I'd have to agree. The key word being alive. Gabe. Uh. uh what? You okay? Uh, uh, shit. Uh, I'll get the doc. What's going on? I'm fine. I just needed to talk to you alone. More than I was the whole time on the road. Even when I thought I was going to die. Everything inside me screams to get away from here. These people are killers. And David, What do you mean? David threw his own brother in a cell. Let's just get you better, Kate. The facilities here. I don't care about facilities. We did fine without them before. You didn't have a No, we didn't. Before. These people nearly killed me, Javi. David's people. Yeah, he did. Forgotten, Mari. Of course. He not. didn't know. He doesn't know it's about them. Been you and me on the road, Javi. That's how we've made it this far. Please, 
promise me we'll go back to that the first chance we get. This place, it's a cage. We can't let ourselves get locked in. It's going to get bad if we stay. But... I hear you, Kate. But we can't just turn our backs on this place. On my brother. Coffee. We have to try to make it work. I used to say that about my fucked up marriage. Guess it still applies. <sighs> Whatever. Just please. Please don't leave me alone for too long. What are you worried about? He's not gonna kill you. Feeling better? How you doing, sweetheart? The David reported some pain. It's less now. Strange how it just comes and goes. Uh I think she pulled her stitches when she sat up. Her stitches? I doubt it. But pain often comes in waves with abdominal wounds. <laughs> yeah. I'll give you something to take the edge off, in case it comes back. <clears throat> really superlative work. I thought I'd have to operate, but all she needed was IV fluids and some antibiotics. How did you find someone with skills like these? A wound like this kills 9 out of 10. Whoever did this really knows their stuff. We got lucky. We met a group with a medic, Eleanor, just before Kate got shot. The same group in quarantine now. She's there now? Yeah. We should let her out. I'll vouch for her. Agreed. Okay. I'll have Ava bring her here. I want to meet this Eleanor. I'm sure she'll be an asset to our community. Um, yeah, sure. The rest of those guys can contribute. If that's what it takes to get free. They're all pretty handy in a fight. That's why they're all under guard. Hobby and I have uh, to go meet some people now. See if we can't prove he's worth a damn. We're gonna take real good carry. Okay? Send my apologies, David. I won't be able to make it. Feeling okay? Fine. I just want to keep an eye on my patient. The others know my vote is with you. Come on. Remember what I said. We what? Meet these guys, keep what happened to Mariana to yourself. Badger is one of I my guys. And I will handle him. If you say so. I... All right. It may look pretty, but it's all sugars. There's no substance. It tastes pretty, Clint. That's all that matters. Ah, the brother. Javi, uh, meet the guys. Clint runs food production. The crops you saw, that's him and his people. Jones, our bridge to the outside world. She handles contact with other settlements. Pleased to meet you, Javi. I trust you've been treated well. I hope um, you have been handled too roughly. Some of our people left their courtesy with their old lives. <laughs> well... No complaints here. I get that you guys have a way of doing things. Thank you. We have to be careful. I'm sure you can understand. <laughs> we were sure. just about to eat. Clint oh. was trying to convince me of the essential superiority of his cream spinach over my magnificent Black Forest Gateau. It's no contest. The spinach has real nutritional value. Javi. Take a look at that table. You tell me uh, what you'd rather put in your belly. Spinach from Clint's garden? Or a baked delicacy by yours truly? Well, I'd have to go with that cake. I haven't seen anything like that in years. <sighs> Suit yourself. Come on, Clint. At least he's being honest. It is a sight to behold, Please, you know. make yourself comfortable. Compared to... the diarrhea-looking spinach we thing. We straight talk here, so please. Forgive me if I seem direct. We're usually pretty strict about who we open our doors to. Your brother's uh -huh. word counts for a lot. Is that so? Really? The three of us and Dr. Lingard make all the decisions here. So, yeah. People who choose to stay with us, they have to deal with us bossing them around. Not saying you wouldn't, but it can be an adjustment. Especially for the more independent-minded. There's no structure out there now. People get used to doing as they please. I see. I always do what I'm told. Ask my older brother. You're gonna fit in well, Javi. I can see that already. When Joan and I met your brother, he was trying his hand at fruit. 
fruit. Fruit? I found him slowly murdering an orchard on the Shenandoah River. Hotty fucking ha. Huh? I helped him bring it back to life. We had a good run there. For as long as it lasted. What happened? What always happens. We trusted the wrong damn people. That's what led us to start this. Wondering what this fine piece of body art is all about? It's our litmus test for loyalty. You're gonna regret that when you're older. You know, for job interviews and stuff. Ugh, smartass. <laughs> Laugh all you like. Someone takes our mark. They're committed. It was a crude answer mm. to a difficult problem, and it hasn't always worked. Please understand. We had a terrible winter just after we moved here. We... we lost a great deal. Loved ones who left holes in our lives. Protecting my people from that kind of pain, that's what keeps me awake at night. It turned me into a perpetual night owl. I know it's a lot to ask, but I never want them to have to experience loss like that again. I know how you feel. Seeing the people I care about suffer, it's a terrible feeling. I just want to shield them from it all. It's a noble aim. One worth fighting for. Yeah. Oh. Max? What are you doing here? I sent for him. Since when does he answer to you? From what I hear, he's well acquainted with your brother. They exchanged a few bullets outside our walls. Is that right? Is there bad blood between you and Max? Nothing that can't be worked out. I want to hear that from Javi. Well... Let's just say I wouldn't invite him to my wedding. Yeah, I wouldn't fucking go. Good, because I just said you wouldn't be invited. Yeah. Max, how did this start? Don't look at him. You have an obligation to tell the truth. Go on. Tell the truth, Max. We caught him siphoning gas from one of our vehicles. Max. Sorry, David. I know he's family, but your brother's a thief. Is it true? What? Are you talking about the ambulance Answer. in the junkyard? Gas from us. How is that supposed I to know? Whatever I could find. I had no idea it belonged to you. If you just asked. We'd have given it to you. Asked who? There was no one there. You just came out of thin air. That. That's not all. He shot Rufus in the back. You did what? Uh, we found the body near the wreck of Rufus's truck. You cold cocked me with your pistol. I woke up in a truck with cable ties on my wrists. That don't make it right. Rufus was bringing you here. We wasn't gonna hurt you. Well, he Isn't didn't say that. Asking us to vouch for David? Seriously? You know we can't just open our doors to killers. We're trying to build something different here. Something <sighs> resembling civilization. Everything I did out there was to protect my people. That's more than I can say for you. I'm not sure what you mean. Javi? You have something to say? No. That's it. That's right. He knows what he done. There ain't nothing more to say. Uh, it's clear your brother doesn't belong here. Javi and his people have to go. You're overreacting. Hey. There's a scuffle over supplies. We've exiled people for less. Sorry, David. Your soldiers are well. already wild enough. We can't add more crazy to the mix. Take Javi and everyone in quarantine to the gate. Give them a pack with a bare minimum to survive. Hey, come on. I mean, why don't we put it to a vote, right? Um. Look, we can't fight this. Not now. Kate and Gabe will be safe here. Your doctor friend, too. But the rest of you, you're gonna have to do what they say. I'm sorry. I can't leave Kate and Gabe alone. They won't be alone. I'll be here to take care of them. I can't help you now, but maybe I can down the road. The... Just stay alive. Okay? Whatever, David. Kicking me out for being a killer. A killer. Ridiculous. The, the, ar the armed thugs with rifles accuse me of being a killer. Just for shooting one person. 
who honestly didn't contribute anything to anyone. So, I mean, I was basically doing them a favor. So, you're welcome. And I guess I'll be leaving now. I'll gouge your fucking eyes out with my thumbs. You hear me, asshole? Um, hello? David packed this. He did. They said... Start walking. Uh, what about Eleanor? Walk. Eat shit. Answer my fucking question. Hey, Trip? God damn it, Harvey! This isn't gonna help Eleanor. Don't make it worse for her. Hey. Do not fuck this up. Okay. Uh. There's a settlement a few miles west of here. Don't come back. Thanks. Appreciate the hospitality. Come on, bud. Hey. Seems your moment alone with David screwed us over pretty good. We trusted you. What the yeah. Hell? Well, everything was going okay. At first, I don't know what happened back there. Yeah, well, I got a pretty good idea what's going to happen out here. Let's just see what they gave us. Knowing them, it's probably a butter knife and a stick of gum. They could have just shot us more than once. Oh, how fucking neighborly. Yeah, well, I'm just saying. Maybe be a little bit grateful. Oh. What's that? It looks like a map. I doubt they give one to everyone. Ava did say David packed the bag. Why the hell is it tied to a baseball bat? David's sense of humor was always poorly timed. <sighs> looks like they're expanding. Some of these areas are marked clear. Mmm. Okay. There's Richmond. That helps. Okay. But we can't go back there. Knowing where it is lets us know where we are. Yeah. So we're here, right at the gate, and forward from that, some other settlements, and then here. I'm pretty sure David wants us to go there. And if this is us here, then I think we can head along this path. Just so go ahead north. We need to get as far away from. And to find north. The new fun frontier as possible. Um, yeah, that's the one, right? There, the end of the little dipper. No, that's the big dipper. Oh, is it? That's gotta be this one. That's it. We need to go this way. Yeah. What else is in there? Not a whole lot. Flashlight. Not enough weapons. No food. Well, flashlight. Can be a weapon, so let's go. And I've already got my baseball bat. Trip, come on. What's up? Yeah, I can't all right. Lose anyone else? I'm uh, telling you, I can't. Prescott, Conrad, maybe Eleanor. It's too much. Knock that shit off, Trip. You're better than that. <laughs> We'll see. <sighs> Sorry, man. Rough day, to say the least. I know yeah, you got my back. And I got yours. Of course. Right. After you. Okay.